everybody. Happy New Year. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas and, uh, and you're going to have an even better New Year 2015. I'm just here in a studio and I'm... Um, I was going to put a, a seal or a stamp on the front of these these um, these tankards here. Remember, I spoke about it. The, the the weavers the weavers stamp. Well, of course, these are leather hard. I can't take this stamp and impress it by pushing onto the front here because I won't get a very good impression into the clay because it's already too hard. So one way to do it is to put like a, a soft pad of clay. So I'll take some soft clay. You make a soft pad on the front, you see, and then you impress into that. So what I'm going to do is Now I've already established that I need a small lump that is half an ounce. So that's that amount of clay, you see. So what I do is I'll roll it into a ball. Let me do let me do three just to sh just to show you this. Are we in the picture good there? Uh huh. So I'm going to get myself some of these already weighed up, half an ounce. And that might, va might vary according to, according to the size of your, according to the size of your stamp, how much clay you're going to need. Right. Now I've got handy here a little bit of slurry, okay, which we're going to use as glue. <laughs> I've also got some water there. So, a banding wheel. I've got my three little lumps there. Okay, let's, let's just take one of these tankards. So what I need to do is establish opposite where the handle is. And I make it just a little mark with my fingernail there, you see. Right, now I'm going to dip my finger in the water and just wet or dampen that, that area there. And I'm going to scratch it with my fingernail. Okay, just to key the area a little bit, like that, keep him on the banding wheel like that, try and work off the banding wheel, it, it, it helps. So, right. What next indeed? Right, okay. We can take one of these little lumps, these little round balls, and I'm I'm now, now actually how did I do this before? I did this the other day. I know what I did. I know what I did. I took a, a round implement like this and um and I kind of use, I sort of used it as a rolling pin, if you know what I mean. Just to, to roll this out a little bit. Because I don't want it to be round, you see. It's got to be, it's got to be sort of oval, elongated a little bit. So I'm just using the, the shaft of this brush just to roll that 
Now I'm going to take my stamp, you see, on some, put the stamp over it just to Right. I'll just take my finger with a bit of this 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 slurry, and we're just going to just add a bit of that there to that there. Yeah, that ke that keyed area. And take my soft pad of clay and just need a bit more there. Just lay that over like that, checking that it's, it's central with the handle through here. Okay. And now with my thumb, just, just pushing that down over like that. Just firming it up into the body of the... body of the, the tankard. Dipping my finger in some water now and just tidying it up. Yeah. Okay, so that's one I've done. I'm just going to put that one to one side a moment. So I want the I want that wet area where I've just wet it just to dry off a little bit. Let's take another meanwhile. Here's another one. So right opposite the handle, we make a little mark using my fingernail dipped in some water into water, my finger, and then just keying this area. Okay, let's take one of those little, these little round balls, and we're going to just pinch them, pinch them out a little bit, as you see me doing. Put them down on the on the table here. Taking my little my paintbrush here and I'm rolling it out like this I test him for size once I've rolled him out a little bit just to see if he's the right size, he needs a little more the table here he is there he is now we're going to take some of that that slurry and we're just going to just put him over that area like that take the powder clay and lay it across that checking that he is he is on center opposite the handle you see give him a gentle but firm 
bit of pressure just to push him down into that keyed area. Like that. Okay, let's dip our finger in the water and just smooth him over, you see. Tidy him up. Like that. Okay, put him to one side. You'll notice I'm keeping these ones under plastic, you see, keeping them, holding them back, keeping them as I want them, so I can work on them. So, opposite, make a mark. Score him with my fingernail. That. Take our last little lump. Pinch him out a bit like this. Just to make him into a bit more of a sort of disc shape. You see? Put him down on the table. Take my little paintbrush here using the handle as a rolling pin. <laughs> Trying in for size against the stamp. Okay, lift him off, all right, taking some of that slurry, just put him over there like that, it's going to help him to stick you see, we don't want him to, to jump off you see in a kiln do we, that would be a bit of a, bit of a rude shot wouldn't it? Open the kiln and they're all dropped, jumped off on the shelf. <clears throat> right, so take our little pad. And we're just going to lay him across there like that. Before we push him, firm him up there, we're just going to check that he really is in the right place. He is, it's good. So now gently but firmly pushing the soft clay here into the to the body of the tankard. I want to get a nice sort of oval shape. Okay. Right now, just dipping my finger in some water. Sort of go around the the edges that you see here. To make it nice and nice rounded edge. You see that? Right, now what I would do is leave these now to get to the right point. Let's go back to the first one. Well, he's still a bit shiny, you see. I don't want to stick this stamp into clay that's at all wet. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, uh, over here, I've got a, a heat gun. I'm just going to...
Okay, that's one. I'll just do these other two quickly. So what I want to do now is take the seal and impress into the I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera a little bit because I've got a bit better light over just over here. Now I want you to see this. So I'll just move these up here. Further along the bench, as it were. Right, so. So here's the, here's the seal that is carved in reverse, you see, into wood. Well, this was, wasn't hand carved, this was done by my friend Don, and he's got a special machine to do these. Otherwise, I would be doing it by hand. Takes a little bit more. Right, so I hope I can do this and you can see it. So I'm going to take the stamp and I'm going to place it right smack in the middle there, right over where I want that to, to be like that. Now it's important when you do this, you put your fingers on the inside right opposite that soft pad of clay. Okay, now let's hope I can do this. <laughs> So I'm going to take, take this, this stamp and starting at this end here, impress down and into the clay and across like that. Well, hmm. not very happy with that one. It hasn't really, has not really. Okay, we'll move on. It hasn't, uh, I don't know if you can see, it hasn't really, it hasn't really picked up the impression. It, as in all things, you know, practice is so important, isn't it? Maybe often the very first one you do of anything is very much a learning piece, isn't it? You learning, learning how to do it. So, I've got to now think and apply a little bit a little bit more pressure but I've got to do it in such a way and I find with these kind of stamps okay with that one I just simply pushed in and went like that this next one I'm gonna push in and as I do so I'm gonna wiggle the stamp a little bit see if it'll make any difference I've got a feeling it might so starting this side I'm pushing in and I'm wiggling it a little bit and then around and here and there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Um, I've not quite got it straight either. That's the thing you see, doing this kind of work, you it's very easy to not get it right, you see, you gotta persevere. So, see if we can make this one a bit better. So, centralizing it. Now, those, both of those two have been a bit down on the left. I've got to make this sure this one is not. So, pushing in. Yeah, still I'm not... I'm not 100% happy with that. 
I haven't got the, the detail, you know, on the letters that I wanted. What do I do? Well, you panic, Simon, because you're on camera. <laughs> well, yeah. What I'm doing is I'm simply dipping my finger in the water and just going over that again, rubbing it, you see. Try to rub that, what I did out. I don't know, maybe I dried it off with the heat gun a bit too much and it's... We'll try again. Placing it over, pushing down. I don't know, what do you think? Not really getting enough of a, an impression there. Still not happy with that. That's a better one. That is a better one. Can you see that one? Oops. Well, as you can see, I'm going to have to be practicing a little bit here to get this just so, just as I want it, because. Well, you could say, well, Simon, they're only beer tankers, I wouldn't worry about it. They're just for people drinking beer, you know, they're not even going to, for after a while, they're not going to be seeing straight anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, well, even so, we'd still like to, still like to get them straight and a good impression. I'm going to go over those other two there and try to uh, improve them. Anyway, folks, that's it. Huh? I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you what you see, what's involved in doing these. And um, see if I can do this one again. Hang on. Yeah. Yep, that is better. That is better. Yes, it's it's definitely a case of you know pushing it in, and you've got to sort of you've got to sort of squirm it around a little bit. It's sort of like getting the clay up into the into the into the the cut here in the wood into the seal. That that the clay has got to get up into the right into the letters, hasn't it? Anyway, it's a learning it's a learning curve, isn't it? Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. And um, yeah, 2015 is here. We are going to be continuing here in the studio. Doing this and that, I've got to get these things, these weavers store mugs through the kiln, and um, I've got other projects to do. Meanwhile, other and other pots as well, other uh, functional ware. I'm trying to concentrate on doing functional pots at the moment. You know, GP bowls, mugs, pitchers, pestles and mortars, um, yeah, some flan dishes. Some little dish, dishes for some supper dishes. Um, yeah, ma mainly all sort of functional wear. I'm going to get back to doing that. So, yeah, tune in and join us here on YouTube on my channel and um, visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. We are just about to be posting some new dates up there for 2015 for uh, workshops here in my home studio here. So if that's something that interests you, look out for those dates. They're not up there yet. We've got to get down to you know, getting them up there. So that's it. Anyway, I hope I wish you a warm winter. <laughs>
stay warm and sometimes the winter is an, an opportunity isn't it to get down to doing some practicing because uh, outside distractions are a lot less we're a little bit more confined in our studios and um, and you may, something we are offering, and I am offering here on my website, you can see, and that is what I call Skype at the Wheel. One-on-one -on -one, uh, pottery throwing lessons right at your wheel, wherever you are in your studio, in your basement, wherever it happens to be. Uh, you know, we can uh, carry on practicing Skype at the Wheel through the winter. If that's something that appeals to you, then go to my website and you'll see details. Okay, folks, that's it. As always, keep practicing. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.